Tom Hanks? Really, Tom Hanks? You guys think I sound like Tom Hanks? I don't hear it. Anyway, welcome back, guys. Kicking off November with a bang. This is our final update and decon wash of our 25-way graphene coatings and sealants longevity test, this now being the one and a half year mark. This hood has been outside exposed to the East Texas elements for the last 18 months and has been washed 22 times after this update and after we do the decon wash be four more. So we've had some excellent performers in this test, some not so great, but what the original premise of this test was proving is that these graphene products last longer than their non-graphene counterparts. And what we've discovered here is that is simply not the case. Buzzword anyone? What's next? Borophene, Kevlar? Who knows, we'll get into that in another video. So anyway, we have four products that we're going to use on this test. The traditional Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, CarPro Reset, CarPro Descale, and an Aluminum Brightener. Anyway, so in traditional fashion, let's foam this hood down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse it, foam it again, wash it, and then let's inspect the hydrophobic properties before we move on to the rest of the decon wash. So without further ado, let's see how things are getting on. So after just the final wash, Drive Auto Nano, you can see that it's barely hanging in there, but it is still slightly hydrophobic. And they have a graphene product underneath there that's basically lost its hydrophobic properties. Uh, 4210H Graphene, that is our cheap Amazon product, somewhere around $20, $25. Still hanging in there, but it's very weak. IGL Easy Graphene and Pre-Production Sample A, both kind of hanging in there. It's rated as a one-year product. Glosset is hanging in there. I'll, I didn't show it very much in the video here. IGL Kinzo Standard versus Graphene. Both of those very weak, but again, just a little bit of hydrophobic properties remain. Everything else, SPS Graphene, maybe a little bit there, yeah. SPS Graphene has always been a strong performer, and I know they have recently changed ownership and they've recently changed their formula, so we'll definitely be testing that again in the future. So just from a year and a half outside, it looks like Kenzo Glosset and Drive Auto Nano and 4210H Graphene along with SPS Graphene are the survivors, but really, in reality, none of them are surviving very well. So now we're on to CarPro Reset. We're gonna put it in a foam cannon in the proper dilution ratio, which as you can see here is one to 500. So properly diluted, we're gonna foam it down, let it dwell for about a minute, and then I'll go ahead and wash it. After CarPro Reset, Drive Auto Nano, did it make it any better? Doesn't look like it. Looks like it, if anything, it made it worse. 4210H Graphene? I, I don't really see any difference there. Drive Auto Graphene? No difference. IGL Easy Graphene? Looks like maybe a little bit, I don't know. Glosset Graphene and Pre-Production Sample A. Gloss is just barely hanging in there. And Kenzo Standard and Graphene. Looks like no change there. Pretty much the same behavior. Let's jump over. Oh, well, we have a few that have come back there. Maybe Adams and Ethos, very similar products, along with their associated sprays. Very weak, but hey, we might have something there. Any improvement is improvement enough. SPS Graphene. Yeah, maybe a, hard to tell. I don't see any big difference with that one. So it looks like just using CarPro Reset, we might have some improvement with Ethos and Atoms. So on to CarPro Descale, which is, which is a little bit stronger. You use it in one to 100 dilution or one to 10 in the sprayer. So obviously we're using a one to 10 here. Drive 
5 auto nano not seeing any huge difference it may have hurt the graphene version of it seems like it's much worse 4210H graphene it's obviously still got some hydrophobics but I don't well maybe slightly yeah maybe a slight improvement on that one None of these are strong hydrophobics though. Looks like IGL Easy Graphene, it hurt it along with Glossit. So it didn't like those. IGL Kenzo, Standard and Graphene, again, no change. Doesn't look like it responded too much to that. Glassparency Graphene Coating, maybe a little bit there. Extreme Solutions. We have, have a little bit of change there. So it looks like the Ethos, Atoms, Extreme Solutions, those are all B&B &B blending products. Those are responding well to CarPro Descale. To the point where how I've been calling them in my testing, I wouldn't call those failed, I'd call those weak. Yeah, we've got some, got some change there. So well done there. SPS Graphene, yeah, a little bit. So finally on to Duragloss. We're gonna use an, a, a, an aluminum cleaner and brightener. It is a mild acid. So in the past, some of these coatings have responded negatively, like it'll kill them completely, and there's others that it will bring them back. So let's see what happens here. Drive Auto Nano and Drive Auto Graphene. Look at Drive Auto Graphene, brought that back, brought Drive Auto Nano back, wow. Huge improvement for those two. 4210H Graphene, maybe a little bit, and IGL Easy Graphene, it looks like it improved that as well. Pre-production sample A and Glossed Graphene, both of those have come back, wow. Kenzo Standard and Graphene. I would call those slightly improved. Maybe the Standard, the Graphene, maybe even looks a little weaker. Last Parency. Adams Graphene 10H coating. Holy cow, it actually, it brought the hydrophobics back completely. Wow. Well done. Yeah, it's almost still instantly hydrophobic, almost. That's pretty impressive to be able to bring that coating back like that. Wow. The award for the biggest improvement after calling a coating dead right there. SPS Graphene, looks like it killed it. Yeah, not quite, very close, but yeah, it, it didn't respond well to that at all. So that's why we like to do different products for a decon, definitely not a torture test. So what do you think guys? Have you used any of these products? Have you purchased any of the products because of this test? Have you had similar experiences? Let me know. Boy, that yeah, that Adams, that's that's impressive how it brought that back and the drive auto and, and IGL Easy Graphene. So there are ways to bring some of these back if you need like an extra month or two in longevity just to kick the can down the road. Looks like you can definitely achieve those results. So I want to thank you guys again for watching. We'll have some more tests coming up here this winter. I've been very, very busy in the shop. I haven't had a lot of free time to start new tests. I have a trim test coming up, hopefully starting in December. But as far as new hood tests, probably the first of the year, most likely is when that's going to happen. So thank you again for all the support. Be sure to check out the spreadsheet in the video description. And of course, if you would like to purchase any of these products, please purchase through the description, or please purchase them through the links in the video description as it does help the channel out to continue to see tests like these. So here's the spreadsheet that I had. You can feel free to go through that. Basically any of these that have lasted a year or longer are gonna be a great option for you. So pay attention to my install notes on some of these because some are somewhat tricky to install. You need to pay attention to that. Some are very easy, so you can weigh your ease of installation versus price versus longevity. Some of these are very expensive, 170, 180 plus dollars. Some are 
40, 50, even on down to 20 or so, like the 4210H graphene on Amazon. So again, take a look. I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for more. We'll see you soon.